Hello Lulas, welcome to my channel. You are watching baby Noah and he's a whole mood. Is that what I'm supposed to say or is he a whole snack? Uh, I don't know. But before we get started with this video, girl, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, smash that subscribe button, slam that subscribe button, click that subscribe button, and give this video a thumbs up. Make sure that you listen all the way to the end of the video and comment below. Guys, also don't forget, get your merch. There's a link in the description bar. And if you want to be a part of the exclusive live stream, with me, your girl, Swirl. No, <laughs> okay, whatever. Um, I was trying to make this sound real good. Um, but there's a link also in the description bar called the Chatterbox. Um, it is $1.99, baby, give me those fries. Um, um, you do have to be 18 years old or older to join. Okay, doom, a whole minute worth of commercialization there. So for real though, Noah gets on my nerves. So you guys know yesterday I got him all dressed up, right? He was all corrupt and everything, his little jeans and stuff. So baby boy act like he be itching or something. Like he just cannot keep on clothes. He do not like clothes. He do not like a lot of clothes. I guess either he get it from his mama or he just like to be comfortable. So he was just wiggling and squiggling and acting all crazy. So I took the jeans off. So now... He done like wiggled himself until he kind of fell asleep. So I'm gonna just go ahead and take him off this sweater and just, you know, it's we got a warm week. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna let you have your way, Noah. Um, cause he is something else. So I'm gonna try not to block the light as usual, but I'm also gonna talk to you guys about just continuing my conversation. I know it sounds like I'm talking about the same thing over and over, but I just, you know, this is what's been on my mind. So this is what I'm talking about. Um, I gotta get you flipped up a little boy. Um, but yeah, so, so yesterday I was talking about like, could I just have one? And I, um, of course, love the responses to that, but I was really meaning like one silicone. I'm not planning on getting rid of my re reborns. I was just thinking like, what would I do if I just had one silicone baby, just had Noah, and that was just it? Would I be okay? Because I'm, you know, just like you guys say, I'm definitely a person that loves variety. And I'm wondering if my variety can come within my reborns and let my silicones just be one because they're so expensive. So that's where, you know, my mindset was kind of going with that. But um, this weekend... Unlike most weekends, I normally am running, doing this, doing that, maintenance on either my other home or, you know, um, you know, just Gabby hair appointments, you know, just stuff, you know, house chores, trying to finish up a doll, something like this. But this weekend, I just took a little time, you know, some um, chill time, you know, and I... I went and I got my hair done and, you know, stuff like that. Things that I don't normally do. And, um, you know, after work, you know, long, hard day of work, me and Gabby went to the nail spa and Gabby got her hands done. She got her cute little flowers on her nails. You know, I always, she wanted to get her feet done. She had, she had on some little boots and I was like, Gabby, no, because Gabby been wearing a lot of clothes and shoes. So I really don't see the point of getting her feet done. Um, you know, for me, I feel like I, I need to get my feet done like all the time. It doesn't matter for me because, you know, we're grown women and we have grown women, you know, type deals where, you know, our feet might be, you know, exposed, you know. So I, um, but I got my eyebrows waxed. I got my nails done. I haven't had my nails done in years. I just been wearing my nails because of painting and stuff. So I got them as short as possible uh, and try to make them as natural looking as possible. I'm not a very flamboyant type person. And I'm getting to a point about telling you guys all this. Not that I'm just bragging going, oh girl, I went and made myself a whole mood. <laughs> okay, so boom. <laughs> no, when you got young kids, you be trying to, I be trying to keep up with the slang, okay? Um, so... So anyway, um, so yeah, so what I'm saying is, is that it actually felt good to be spending my money on, some money on myself. 
and you know just taking care of myself for a moment you know for years i got so consumed with this hobby till everything was either a doll or doll related and you know as much as we love this hobby and as much as i love this hobby you know anything too much of anything is 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 not good and i've always said that it's, it's all about keeping a balance and i just found that you know I don't want to spend money on getting my hair done so I would go I would do my own hair or whatever and you cut corners there you know and then you don't want to um I'm being very careful with how I pull pull his um shirt across him I don't want to rub his face you know with your dolls your silicones your vinyls you don't want to do a lot of rubbing excess rubbing you know I know that the quality is there and you know they're durable some more than others but nevertheless the less you do to them the longer they will last for you and the more perfect they will stay um for you um but anyway so yeah so it just felt really good and it just it made me it's just like something clicked inside me it was like you know i've been going back and forth for the last few years you know kind of trying to find my way out of this addiction that i have with this hobby and not that i want to leave the hobby i love it but i want to just be a casual collector like you know, maybe a year or two, I see something that really grabs me and I go for it. But every time something new comes out and every time, you know, I get that itch, you know, I don't want to just my whole life, you know, just be spend all my money on just dolls. You know, don't take trips, don't do nothing else, but all my extra money goes to dolls. That is what, you know, um, I'm trying to get away from. And, you know, of course... <laughs> Of course, my budget is helping me, you know, when your bank account is like going low, that kind of helps you come back to reality, right? Um, I was trying to wonder, you guys let me know. I'm not going to put them on him this time, but do you think that pandas can go on boys too? Because I kind of wanted to put him on these panda, panda booties, but I was like, uh, I don't know, they might be girls. So I just stuck with the basics. They're like some little bears. Um, Carter little um, uh, booties and I said I'll just I'll just put him on them instead so um, and for those that have not seen Mr. Ubele in just his diaper this is him it's just his diaper and you know he is a little he is a flexible baby as you can see he can too uh, lay down really naturally um he doesn't have a spine or squishy tummy and he's not um like the doll dolls but the willows are very nice and they're the silicone is very very flexible and very pour very nicely as i always tell you guys but i know some of you guys may not um may not have seen him because you might be new but yeah, so he's he's just a really, really <laughs> flexible baby, um, which you know, to me, that's all I, all you really need. I mean, I know I like the bells and whistles, but when you when you have one of these babies, you just love them. But anyway, but back to what I was saying. Um, so yeah, it's like I just want to keep a balance because. You know, you go running and you um you spend you spend all your money on all on just your dolls and you know it's great. Like I said, I love to come in my nursery, which you know today is not one of those days, but I love to come come in my nursery. I know y'all probably say, Well, when do you ever have your nursery clean? Um less lately less is less clean in here than than not because of me trying to do two whole full paint workstations um then trying to get babies packed out shipped out i pull out stuff you know then you gotta have your you know lights and stuff or cameras and videos it's just been chaotic in here for a while but i am gonna i am in the process of getting it back in order and then you know i'll do that updated tours I promised and I'm just not gonna 
try to keep it back because I love when I walk in here and it's just everything is in order. I still feel relaxed when I walk in here because the side wherever my babies are, I always keep that in order for them. Um, but everything else be like a whole mess. His shirts, they naturally cute. Um, so I'd originally bought these for Pup, but I thought it would be, they were, they were kind of wide and Puck is a little bit more petite. So I thought it was too big for him. So I didn't, I didn't give them to Puck. Um, but, uh. But yeah, it, you know, I just think keeping a balance is good. Um, plus, you know, I don't want to look up one day and all I have to show for my money is dolls. I love dolls. It's a great hobby. You know, it's wonderful. I feel like the dolls are worth every penny that the artists charge. You know, I, I you know, I get it. Definitely, you know, Especially with the silicone, as I began to start to paint paint it, I'm like, okay, this is why you can't really get cheap silicone cheap. No way you try to size it up because just everything in it, like I said in previous videos, is just so expensive. Just the the materials, the paint, the the brushes, everything that you use with, with uh, doing silicone is so expensive. So, um, I get it. But, you know, it's like, I feel like with, 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 a, with myself, I can speak for myself, and I, I see other collectors doing it as well. We're so used to having, you know, all the box openings and, you know, having a new baby. And, you know, getting that new baby in that box opening is just a rush in itself. And sometimes I feel like you want that rush, and then when it's over, it's kind of like, okay, blah, you sit that baby to the side, and you've moved on. But then that feeling is gone after a few days and you you keep needing that rush. But your pockets might can't afford the, 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 the shock of the rush that you keep doing by hitting your account every time you turn around. And, you know, it's like the more we spend on the dolls, the more they go up and they just get higher and higher. And it's just not affordable for the average um, person anymore. And I know... Artists probably say, I wish you shut up and stop saying it. And I know collectors probably tired of me saying it. And I said I was going to try not to, you know, keep talking about price. But it's a major thing nowadays because I'm just seeing more and more. Um, I see, I, watching a lady um, trying to sell one of her dolls, um, one of these $3,000 Reborns that, you know, people are selling. And... Now she's down to asking a thousand and something dollars for it. And it's been like months and the dolls still haven't sold. And now she's down to half of what this artist normally charged for her dolls. But now you've already down to half of tr just trying to get it sold. You just, you know. And then I see people, sometimes they'll have on their post, at this point I just want it gone. Because that's what happened. You get so frustrated after a while of trying to sell it. And you just want some of your money back. You just you, and then you get frustrated. Now you're just mad with the doll and everything else because you can't sell it. <laughs> it's 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 not funny, but it, it really is sad. And then you just like shit. Just somebody just take the damn doll. Just just get this out of here. <laughs> like you you just you just be over it. And so you know it's like everything is like so overpriced. And you know I guess. You know, that's hard to say, like, you know, you like, you can't overprice art because, you know, art is priceless and beauty is in the eye of the beholder and all that good bull crap that people like to say. But at the end of the day, yeah, it can be overpriced when you can't resell that crap. It's overpriced to me. So, um, so yeah, I, you know, and that's why it's good for you to get rare finds and, you know, not always try to keep up with the Joneses because, you know, you chasing behind what's popular, and if it ain't no classic sculpt like a Bonnie Brown or Claire Teller or, you know, Romy Stratum, stuff like that. Not even Romy Stratum don't even hold her value. Dolls don't hold the value like um, some of the other ones. Um, 
you you're gonna find yourself you know upside down like they do at the car lot you know as soon as you drive it off you already lost half of your money um and it's very disappointing and disheartening and um which actually affects what people don't understand and this is the whole thing about why i say i look at my dolls when i buy my dolls like investments yes girl i'm trying to show these nails off honey no <laughs> but um this is why i say this if you if you don't look at what you're buying and you put your money into it it affects how you um collect in the future because if you keep buying stuff that nobody else is going to buy when you get ready to sell that doll to get a new doll and you keep losing money you can't keep upgrading because you're buying stuff that's not you know in demand so um for instance if you buy a doll right and don't nobody want to buy that doll but you at the time just imagine six months to a year later when you decide, oh, I want to, you know, get a, 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 a nicer doll and I want to put it up for sale. If nobody didn't want it six months ago or a year ago, they, de you know, they definitely not going to want it after all this other new stuff have came out. So then what happens, unless that's a keeper keeper and you know that's a keeper for you, you basically are um, buying your way out of. The hobby so to speak um i mean unless you just got endless funds then it don't matter but when i'm, I'm talking about the average collector they have to buy to sell if you buy buy something and it's overpriced and you keep losing money it's no good but if you buy something that is like a classic like a lot of the claire teller babies you usually can get or something that's painted by claire teller you usually can get your money at least what you paid for if not more than what you paid for which is what a lot of people do um, and I, like I said, I don't knock it because like I told you guys, I was about to buy, I wanted to buy this, um, Claire Teller doll and it was more than what the actual price was and that didn't bother me not one bit, but it was just that I didn't have the money at that time and by the time I had it, it had sold. So, um, but yeah, but if you, you know, if you buy something and it, you, you can get, you know that, hey. In a year, this doll will still hold its value and I'm going to get my money back. That way, if you see something else that you want and you want to sell that doll, you know you can get your money back. A lot of people are like, well, I don't buy with the thought of selling in mind because I buy my babies for keepers. Yeah, you say that until that time, that one time come where you're sick of that doll and you don't want it anymore. You know, because these are dolls. I mean, as much as I love them and treat them like babies and buy real baby things for them and clothes and you know um very protective over my dog they're still dolls and when i get ready to let go one i let it go you know what i mean um because you have to you know if you don't have it like that and you want to want something different and that's the way you have to do it then that's just the way you have to do it it's nothing you know nobody can say about you and how you spend your money so you know that is you know that is why I don't just run and buy any and everything. Even if I kind of like it, unless I love it and know for a fact that it's staying, I'm not, you know, I'm not the one to, to try to just um, go out there and, and just willy-nilly my money. So um, that's just food for thought. Just my, my, my opinion for some of you guys that might be, you know, really getting deeper into the hobby um you know consider that going in because i see some people and i'm looking like why does she just do that you know she's never going to get her money back off of that you know what i mean but especially if you're a person that likes to switch up if you're a person that never sells your babies then it's kind of okay because nine times out of ten you're really not gonna probably sell no baby no time soon and if you do you probably already know that you're not gonna probably get as much oh my god he's so cute <laughs> but um but yeah um so yeah so anyway for you guys that may not know he is willow by claire teller um he is the prototype number two he's the, the only african-american baby that or she said african baby that was um painted by her as a prototype um however there is 15 other blank kits out there i myself had the pleasure of painting one which 
I hopefully will be um, getting ready to be shown soon enough once his hair is done and uh, get his final pictures and final touch-ups and he will go to his mommy. But um, I just wanted to tell you guys that before I end this video. This is a long video, but I just wanted to chat with you guys about that. So I don't want to leave the hobby. I'm, you know, the, the, the moral story is I don't want to leave the hobby. I don't want to get out of the hobby. However, I am definitely working very hard to get out of always wanting to buy in the hobby because I just feel like people at this point are um I know some people may hate when I say this but some people at this point is just playing on our heartstrings they know that we we want these dolls at whatever it costs and I just feel like it's just it's just a lot of money and for a person that works an average job and make an average income it just it may make sense to you, but it don't make sense to me because my I don't I don't want my dolls to cost half more than what you know my car costs a half of you know I don't want to have more more money invested in my dolls than I have in my bank account. I'll put it like that. That's simpler ter terms for most people to understand. Because um, I really don't mind if my doll costs the, the same amount as my car because I'm not a flamboyant person as long as my car is nice enough to get me where I need to go I'm not it, it, that part don't matter so it's all of that is materialistic things however a car is more of a need than a want uh, for transportation than a doll but you get what I'm saying um but I definitely don't want to get to a point where I look back and say oh my god I got a hundred thousand dollars worth of dolls in my collection but yet I only have you know three thousand dollars in my savings account so I'm working on that, not just in my doll area, but just in other areas. I'm, you know, that is my goal for 2020. I know other people have fat goals and men goals and um, other types of goals, but my goal is to bank my bank and start working on building my account up and, you know, so I can better take care of me and be, you know, available to my children when I want to help them, not, not for them to just, take but you know that's a whole nother subject um not for uh social media <laughs> but um but yeah you know a lot of things going on with my kids you know um we you know that my kids are getting older and they're trying to pursue their dreams and careers and stuff and you know they're gonna have children and families and I want to be able to you know spoil my grandkids if I want to or you know buy my daughter a nice wedding gift for you know, whatever, you know, and, you know, I just need to, to start thinking more along those lines because, you know, these artists do have to make a living and that's why I don't knock it because they have their families that they need to provide for, but I can't sacrifice mine for theirs. So with that in mind, let's keep it real. We'll keep it 100. See you guys in a live stream this weekend. I will try to get with you guys for sure in the chat box. And if I get a chance, I will come to the Gym Pop Live. Um, so that is all, folks. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Bye.